You don't receive permission to operate with fewer restrictions just by asking nicely. Liz Gillardi with Denver 7 Rebound team tagged along with inspectors to see what makes a business worthy of five stars. Inside the Denver Fencing Center, matches continue. But under these protective masks, these fencers are wearing face masks too. You're six feet apart, you're socially distanced, you're wearing a mask, you're wearing a glove, so it feels like a safer sport than most. Owner and head coach Nathan Anderson had the chance to prove just how safe his business is. When people enter the building, we usually run a temperature check, a COVID questionnaire. And then we have hand sanitizer, so people usually hand sanitize. We keep all the spectators outside. An auditor with Denver's five-star program visited his business. We come down here to the main fencing floors. And we tagged along during the inspection. Nathan is hoping the five-star certification will allow him to host tournaments once again. I mean, the reason why we're doing the five-star program is because, you know, Currently, we're restricted to tournament size of 25 people, but we have a 15,000 square foot building. Although it might be a little bit easier to wear a mask and stay six feet away when it comes to fencing, so far the city of Denver has inspected about 80 businesses and more than half are now certified. Late last week, state officials announced a change to the state's COVID-19 dial, loosening restrictions for several counties, including Denver, and allowing businesses to operate at 50% capacity. Business owners applying for five-star status wondered what the changes would mean. I want to start out the survey by uh, pointing out that today we are in yellow. According to the state, counties in yellow can operate in blue once 70% of 70-year-olds are vaccinated. So in the event that there's another spike in COVID, uh, the five-star is giving the opportunity to not have to shut down just dial back a little bit. Nathan hopes in the meantime, the rating gives people peace of mind that he's doing everything he can to stay safe. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.